Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. Today we are at a Class G airport and we're going to talk about the number one confusing topic among drone operators. It's the most frequently asked question that I get for all my students. So I'd like to really clarify that because now we're in a situation where Lance is live everywhere. With Lance Live everywhere, people are now going to want to be applying for the ability to be able to fly in controlled airspace. So a lot of people don't know the differences between a waiver or an authorization, when to apply for which, how to apply for which. So let's talk about all this stuff right now. There is an FAA regulation as part of under Part 107. It is rule Part 107.41. That rule states that as a drone operator, I will not fly in controlled airspace unless I have prior authorization from ATC. Now, 95% of all uh, requests will fit that simple authorization. If you simply just want to fly in controlled airspace, let's say for example, you're at uh, four miles away from a class D airport, which is a controlled airport, and you just need to fly 100 feet high, and it's a very simple project, then you're going to want to apply for an, an airspace authorization through the Lance system. If you're not sure on how to use Lance, please see my other video that I've made a, an entirely dedicated video on how to use that. It's a very simple authorization and you get that instantly. So th that's what 95% I think of all airspace needs are to be able to fly in that are authorizations. But there are some times when people need to deviate from that role and get a waiver. Let's say for a three month period of time where you need to fly from uh, February 1st all the way to like say May 1st and you don't know when you're going to fly, when you're not going to fly, you want the ability to be able to fly whenever you deem needed, then that is a waiver. The only way you can apply for a waiver is through the FAA Drone Zone website. That's why waivers take so long. Waivers can take anywhere from six to 12 months in advance because they need to go ahead and really look at your request and see if it's feasible or not. It's something that's not as easy as an authorization. Because if you get a waiver, then you can essentially have a gold ticket to fly in that controlled airspace of your request anytime, day or night, on any day during that time frame. 95% of the time, you can very easily just apply for an instant authorization and that's going to take care of for everything that you need. So I hope that explains the differences between the two. And like always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, reach out to me. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.